Jared Poland Frono's photo. Dot com, and we have to have a revote for the photo of the month for August because somebody was caught cheating. Kind of e- both rigging the vote, way too many uh, votes coming in, uh, and basically the image wasn't taken during the time that they specified that it was. It was deemed, well, we found the original post. It was taken 19 months ago, so that image has been removed from the top 11. And the only right thing in my mind to do is to have a revote and extend the voting until September 14th. Unfortunately, all the people that voted have to vote again. But because we removed the image that was in the lead, it makes only sense to have everybody revote just to make it fair or as fair as it can be at this point. So that's where we're at. This is the first time that this has happened. But we found it out. They cheated. And because they cheated, we've got to figure out what to do and the best thing to do is have this revote so let's just go through the top 10 again we've got this photo here actually let me just make it a little bigger for you guys hey bigger bigger and here we go we've got Avda Beacon with that uh, I what they call them, passion flies or whatever they were that looks good or I don't know what they're called but I like this photo I love the bokeh I talked about that before we got the sunflower from Dave Gar 5 love the separation and background right there we've got dozer 1 the uh, the Canon AE1 camera right here with the nice bokeh in the background nice reflection all in all cool shot and we got Johnny number 7 Johnny number 7 and uh, love the angle well just like the crop of this love how straight the lines are love the lighting love how you get the uh, the idea you know what it is then we've got J R lamb photos yep I uh, yeah I, I like this one I talk, I guess I talked like a horse last time we did have this get that one you got J Zirin 11 nice shot from the back of a car then we've got Carlson. I just love this because I couldn't tell if that was a person laying there dressed up, uh, but it's it's not. It just it just caught my attention. And, w- and when images make you go and think about it, that that's when you know they've done something right. We got Crowjack, nice black and white photo right here, followed by Matt Payne Eleven, a stitched together nighttime long exposure photos. I mean that's just awesome. The colors are fantastic. This is something that you could print on metal or hang on the wall or hang on the uh, the ceiling and it would be awesome. And then we've got Tamisa Ticken. That's right. We've got that photo as well. So now it's time for you guys to vote. Yeah, not a lot of votes in there just yet because it just went live with the new vote. Don't forget to tweet it, like it, stumble it, read it, tumble it, Google Plus it, and pin it. And that's it. Unfortunately, we have to do a revote, but it is the right thing to do. And we hope that people do not try to take advantage of the contest and try to cheat. So that means coming up next month, a new theme, you're probably going to have to do something uh, pretty unique to enter the contest. And that's what you've got right there. Thank you guys very much for... For everything, Jared Polin, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.